This is a rival nemesis and this is what it does. And we've supercharged it to do this. If you want to know how to do this, we're going to do it to this charger. This is how it fires normally. And it's jammed. Wait a minute. It's jammed? Yeah. And it ran out of battery. Normally you put six D-sized batteries in the Nemesis. Each battery is 1.5 volts. That gives us nine volts in total. What we did is replace it with these 18650s. We put three of them in series. And then we put another three in parallel with the first three. And that gave us 3.7 volts multiplied by 3, which is just over 11 volts. This additional voltage gives, gives us the power without burning out the motor. This is what we're going to do with the rival charger. With the rival charger, it uses C-sized battery instead of D, but there's still six of them. This gives us 9 volts. This is going to be a bit tricky, isn't it? Maybe we can only use four of these. Uh, it needs three. One, two, three. The rival charger uses six C size batteries, which, uh, which are both which are still 1.5 volts, which still gives us 9 volts. We're going to use three 18650 batteries to give us just over 11 volts. We're going to use these 18650 lithium iron batteries. Each battery is 3.7 volts and, w and it also has a protection circuit at the top. We're going to put three of these batteries in series, which will give us somewhere between 11 to 12 volts. Remember to not, dam to not solder straight onto the battery as it will damage the battery. Always use a battery holder. We are going to solder one side of this JST to the battery holder and, one and the other side to the gun to make it easy to connect and disconnect. Make sure you buy good quality 18650s and charger. Make sure you get a grown up to do all the soldering and wiring and make sure to test everything um, before you put it back together. We need to remove some of this plastic inside the battery holder. Now we need to actually open up this charger. Here are the two terminals we need to solder our wires onto. Red is positive and the brown is negative. We're going to use this standard JST plug. Now that I got the battery compartment ready, I'm going to solder these three holders in series.
this is the completed battery circuit which we'll, we will now test. Positive and negative. Did you solder that? I had to solder it because it had come out. So that gives us about 12 volts. To simulate the voltage, we are going to use a voltage power supply. First we'll test 9 volts, then we'll test 12 volts. This is 9 volts. And this is 12 volts. Okay. And this is the charger after it's being supercharged. 